This is the midterm finger puppet management presentation from group eight or the puppeteers. The following are the members of the puppeteers Sofia Sanchez, Annalisa Shivalak, Derek Asbiroli, Tim Candelario, and Granny Sanchez. The television show will highlight the importance of ethical decision making and social responsibilities of managers in running a business. It's also going to showcase different management styles. In addition to overcoming uh, conflicts that inherently arise every single day when running a business and in business partnerships. Our target audience is going to be anyone within the ages of 18 and, 30, 18 and 30 who wish to learn more about management and the challenges involved in running a business. Let's talk about the summary of our TV show. La Ratatouille is a struggling is struggling to make the new restaurant restaurant in progress in Paris, excuse me, successful despite some challenges. They must overcome their current structure, management structure. The restaurant is failing to provide timely food delivery and is impacting the menu. The restaurant is grappling with providing good service and deciding on which is the best solution to all of these issues that, um, that are present. Viewers are going to witness a dialogue that takes place between the different parties, the actions that are taken, and results of the decisions made. With different viewpoints, ethical decisions are made and the restaurant succeeds. Now that's our summary. Let's talk about the plot. This is a show that focuses on the trials and tribulations presented and the opening of a new restaurant in which the head chef is against health code standards, believes in going around it, shortcuts, Remy. He's a cooking prodigy, faces prejudice from closed-minded customers for being a rat, for being different. Linguini, his companion and co-worker, is helping him open the restaurant as co-managers. Determined to sabotage the new restaurant, Skinner, the old manager, uses Linguini's insecurities to manipulate him into taking complete control of this restaurant. Linguini ignores the advice of Colette, Antonigo, and Remy, and as a result, Linguini leaves Remy out of important business matters. After each uh, challenge both managers face, they learn to find more ethical solutions that benefit their business. Now that we discussed the summary and the plot, let's talk about the characters of our TV show, La Ratatouille. Linguini. To make up for his insecurities over his lack of knowledge of cooking and managing, he tends to take things out on Remy. He has good intentions, though but can lash out when he becomes frustrated. And he's very impulsive. Instead of um, thinking things through, he usually responds with his gut reaction. He feels like he has nothing to contribute and doesn't just want to be the financial provider. So he feels that he needs to make up for it by being overpowering. Some people do find his nervousness endearing and some of the restaurant patrons grow fond of him and Remy. In leadership, uh, Linguini possesses a position of power, position power, which is based on his position and rank in the restaurant business. He has an irrational approach to decision making. Now Remy. Remy is a thinker. Not only is he very open-minded and a talented cook, he's a character that likes to go over everything and collectively make decisions. He's very patient and level-headed. He doesn't take uh, any of Linguini's jabs towards him personal because he knows where it's coming from. He, He's always coming up with new ideas and is very resourceful. Remy represents a type of personal power, uh, power based on his own characteristics and contains a special type of innovative knowledge. Um, Remy tends to have a rational thought process or a rational approach to decision making. In Colette, even though they're in happy relationship, her and Linguini, when Colette is at work, she sees Linguini as nothing but a co-worker even though Linguini sometimes forgets. Because they're in a professional, uh, because they're in a relationship that is strictly professional, one at the restaurant. 
Um, Cluck tends to take Remy's side and becomes frustrated with Linguini. Like Remy, Collect also knows where Linguini's impulsiveness comes from, but she's less patient about it. She, she helps in all decisional roles of a manager and is the head financial decision maker. And Skinner. Izzy, he isn't fully warmed up to Remy being a chef. He sees him as a competitor and is only looking for his own interest. He consistently attempts to sabotage the partnership between Linguini and Remy. He's a type of person that acts as a defender, fighting against anything that could restrict his abilities. Skinner tends to operate unethically by finding the easy way out, regardless of ethics. And Anton Ego, he's very supportive of Remy and Linguini's business. He has developed a mutual, mutually respectful relationship with Remy and is a mentor to him. However, he feels that Linguini's holding Remy back. He's considered a stakeholder in this restaurant business and is affected by the actions of the organization. These are characters. Now that we mentioned, uh, discussed our characters, I wanted to uh, discuss the different episodes that we will have. We're going to start off with episode one, which we're going to introduce the characters of the show that I just mentioned. In addition, the first scene will highlight the personalities involved in the show. We're going to discover Remy in the middle of another amazing meal creation. We're going to see his partner, a business partner, Linguini, who is thinking of bribing the food supplier. He's thinking about bri bribing the food supplier because the deliveries have been late, which is impacting what they can offer on the menu. In addition, the restaurant is suffering from uh, poor service. The resources aren't there to provide the service that they need to provide. So what should be done? Well, Skinner advises them to just bribe the food supplier to beat out all the other restaurants out there as far as from a timeliness perspective. And he also advises them to bribe the critic to give them a good rating regardless of what the service is in the restaurant. However, Collect and Anton Ego want the restaurant to succeed. And they want the restaurant to succeed in an ethical way. So then we move on to episode two. So now we have an ethical dilemma, which takes place where soup, food supplies are arriving late, as mentioned in episode one. Instead of researching new suppliers, Linguini attempts to convince Remy of his idea to bribe the supplier. Now, Anton Ego is very concerned with the service being provided, and so is Collette, as mentioned. They respectfully share with Linguini and Remy that if changes are not made, the restaurant will fail. Now, in episode three, Linguini has doubts and confides in his girlfriend, Collette, at home. Collette is tough at home and forces Linguini to understand the negative and positive outcomes of each decision. As she always tells Linguini, every action has a reaction and every decision has consequences. Linguini is not sure which action he will take. An ethical decision will require time to research new suppliers, costs, location, delivery time frames. And in the restaurant business, there are numerous suppliers and they all promise to deliver the best product at the lowest price. In addition, in order to improve service, the hiring of new employees will have to take place in order to have the physical resources at the restaurant ready to serve customers. This will entail expenses, additional expenses. However, the bribe will require little time. But the downside to it is that the, the result will be very short term. Linguini needs to really think about the decisions that he's going to make. So we move on to episode four. Remy and Kalak, they both challenge Linguini to make the right decision, to make the ethical decision. And obviously Skinner is not very happy. He's more concerned about himself and wants to make sure that he is uh, taken care of, regardless of how successful the restaurant is. It takes time and energy but Colette, Remy, 
Linguini, they all agree to work together and make the changes necessary and complete the tasks needed as a team. They work efficiently and in a couple of months later, the restaurant comes back to life. Anton Ego congratulates La Ratatouille for achieving success and doing so the right way. Now that I mentioned the different episodes, the progress and objectives, milestone one we completed. We've also completed milestone two. This is the midterm presentation and we have milestone three and four and we have the final presentation and the final show and booklet, which we're looking forward to. As a team, we're very excited about this project and we believe that we will be successful um, because we are, we communicate, we're focused, and we're passionate about this. So thank you so much for taking the time to, um, for this presentation. And please stay tuned. The, sh the TV show will be coming soon, and we can't wait for you to see it. Thank you so much.